Hello everyone, thank you all for joining me. Today is August 18th and we'll be speaking on the various planetary configurations um, which will help you understand what are the aspects, what are the most uh, positive side of, of, of this general horoscope. And the planetary arrangements that I see um, are very much in a positive way in that we're much more aware, we're much more of our, our aware of our thinking uh, process and there seems to be a spontaneous um, arrival of creativity or there seems to be a, a right way to do things and in a positive way, in a constructive, in a more positive way. And so we continue with Monday, August 18th, where we had a, a pretty rare arrangement um, also here in Monday with uh, Venus conjunction Jupiter and Mercury um, there. And we've got Mercury opposition Neptune, um, Moon squaring Mercury, Moon squaring Neptune, Moon sextiling Jupiter, and Moon sextiling Venus. Well, this is a very um, a good emotional well-being in the beginning of the week uh, with Venus and Jupiter and the Moon and Gemini. We're still in Moon and Gemini. Uh, it's good for writing, it's good for information gathering. It's also a good way to making those conversations reliable that might be a very positive way and it will look uh, good for you and your positive self-image. And in general, it's a good time for any um, in-depth studies um, with Mercury being in Virgo. Uh, analytical, um, uh, strategizing your potential in in those in those aspects, and we've got uh, Venus and Jupiter. We can speak about that a lot. Well, Venus and Jupiter is how we treat others, how we are loved with the other person, and how we create. Um, um, those whom we love in a very open way, in a very trustworthy way, um, where affections between the other persons are, are enjoyable, are comfortable, and we get, we bring our best emotional self in a very comfortable way, in a good way, and very fortunate that we have those um, aspects and we've got Jupiter. Jupiter is about luck, it's about optimism. optimism and it's also a good day with Venus there to indulge yourself in good food, in rich and sweet and very beautiful and extravagant way and Venus and Jupiter conjunction um, this alignment suggests the planetary uh, planets indicates a very positive way. Um, they they affect the home life. They affect uh, what you bring into the table. Um, you will enjoy. Um, that company um, that's very good and healthy and it's moving you towards a better loving um, relationship and we've got um, Mercury uh, opposition Neptune well we've uh, Mercury it's about communication and intellect and curious with its its mind and we've got the Neptune, which is about imagination. And we've got these opposing factors, uh, which, is, which is not personal, but it's direct. The energies are straight at you. 
So when you have the, the intelligence of a Mercury and the imaginative, the compassionate way of a Mercury, of a Neptune, excuse me, well, you can use these um, in a higher vibration by, by shifting your learning process and your, um, your psychic and your visions into a better concentration and use those energies to focus um, that energy to a familiar um, group or situation or until you meet that goal so you put your visions out there um, you can implement those ideas you can implement that something in your mind for for health or better group um, connection and better better thinking um, your attitude your artistic expression the way you interact with others um, it's being um, highlighted that how you could always improve your uh, desires in in that way how you speak you might be interested in how you can act better in music, in drama, in artistic expression. And when we have Neptune, we, we're trying to um, not believe, but we're trying to act on our beliefs like a tyrant or a zealous person. And this gives us feeling of inaccuracy. Um, we're not fearing, we're, we're not hearing ourselves truth uh, by the mind. The mind is creating these um, elements that are not for you to know. It's, uh, it's covering you and you can't read yourself and you can't be true to your own self. And so this creates a, a misunderstanding in groups. So try to grasp those visions first and don't head don't go into head to head um, conversations with people because that would be um, not a positive that would be a lower vibration of the of the zodiac um, your love for the interesting aspects would be into spirituality into psychology into astrology uh, those things that you want to learn and you want to stick to it until you reach your 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 general success and so um, with the mercury in opposition Neptune you are prone to being um, having everything finished being in um, being fragmented in the mind, being inherently lost and losing that particular good heart in you that shows something from you and your understanding. Um, so be careful with the psychic uh, negativity that might come around and stress your mind and could block you from your own self. So be aware of that. and. Um, that's just uh, a cautious um, um, recognition with your own self. So realize that you've got some negative aspects coming. And then we move on for Tuesday. Moon in Gemini. Well, what is Gemini? In Gemini is communication. The distributing of information, newspapers, broadcasting, um communications, uh, television, transportation, cars, driving, traffic, uh, telephones, uh, texting, messaging, emailing, downloading, uploading. Um, so you've got that uh, Uranus, which is deals with technology. So you're meeting up to the world in a good way with technology. Technology is in your own vibration, hence um, feeling um, feeling and harmonizing and resonating with those that bring the technology world into your uh, own living room. So, and, uh, 
Uranus is the planet of shock, it's the electronics, the light. Um, and so we move on, Wednesday, void of course, um, moon going into Cancer at 3.46 p.m., uh, keeping things on hold, keeping things um, calm, refuse to do anything that uh, it's hard for you, that represents uh, uh, um, things because they will be subject to changes between um, 3.46 p.m. on Wednesday because the moon is void of course, which means um, refuse to do anything that is important, anything business plans during this type of period or even during the day when the moon is void of course, um, that part of day the, 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 the moon is, is traveling until it makes um, the next aspect for the next sign. So between these next signs it's moving and it's in orbit so most of the mind is being reflected by the emotional currents. So this would be a healing time for and a positive side would be used for any creativity that brings out that and in the media time that would be going into your own self and working in the matters of your emotional side and your emotional psyche that's that's what seems um, likely and what seems healthier and positive for you and the moon in cancer guys the moon in cancer is in its home side home sign and Cancer is about home and domestic life and family matters and going deep into the roots and Moon it's it's, it's harmonizing uh, perfectly in Cancer because Cancer is about home and the Moon is about reflection and the Moon it's about watering it's it's a water sign and it wants to bring out your nurturing side to the surface, your sensitivity is at peak and those feelings are or those feelings that are coming out can cause you to feel wounded in a particular way in the world or you may retreat into your shell like a crab seeks its um, uh, nurturing by hiding inside into its home so the beautiful thing about this is that you can gain over some friends by being intuitive, by being emotionally receptive and harmonizing beautifully uh, with their moods and their emotions and their intuit intuition. And we move next with Thursday, we're in the Moon and Cancer, um, Mercury training Pluto, Moon opposition Pluto, Moon training Mars, Moon squaring Uranus, Moon training Saturn. Um, Venus, Queen Cunxus, Pluto, <clears throat> Mercury trying, uh, Mercury trying Pluto. Mercury is about communications and how your mind works, and Pluto is about um, uh, the psychological effects. And so you might want to learn how to integrate those in reconstructing your own mind in revolutionizing or you might be learning uh, psychological psychological impacts that impact your your way of thinking you might be breaking down things to, to getting into the depths of your own self and we move on with moon opposition Pluto we're still in a psychological realm we want to learn some particular aspects within ourselves um, that involves um, exhaustion of our own being and this is well well aware that we could overwhelm ourselves with the emotional um, intensity and moon and leo on friday uh moon and leo it's about love moon and leo likes to be in there uh, you're being uh, amorous you're being charming you're being adorable uh these are the aspects that that some way or other uh by using your willpower by the sun, it's good to, to be harmonious and romantic towards the others in love. And Moon and Leo, August, Saturday, two, 2014, 23 of August. Well, we've got Leo, Moon. And we've got Jupiter conjunction, we've got the 
we've got some good emotions. We've got some good conf conversations going around in home life, in emotions are very good at this time. This could be a time for romantic um, uh, using your, your love, um, having that great discussion with your love partner, um, being romantic, taking a, taking the night for some romantic, uh, matters. You could be attracted to some person this time on Saturday. This is a very good time for any romantic love. And we move on to Sunday with the moon is still in Leo. And uh, we've got some great optimists though optimism with technology, with um, the way we do things in astrology is that um, it's always good to do that type of work because we're seeing some good effects and you will be attracted into the occult again on on Sunday with Uranus having the emotional impact and the the emotions coming into your nurturing side. You're emotionally gravitating to um, the aspects of doing that from your own self and helping yourself and others. Um, so all in all, I see a very good time for having those great discussions with someone else. Um, you've got the moon squaring Saturn and moon squaring Mars. Uh, it's a very good time to go and do those things that you've got to do. Be careful, there could be some kind of tension and stress with others at this time. That constant emotional need of others. You're very sensitive and you're open to criticism. But you're learning to be to appear cool and appear nice um, and emotionally reserved. And still going forth in your ambitions with Mars. And Uranus is learning for you to... To really fill in those gaps, um, those emotional, emotionally wounds uh, that separated you from your own willpower and your own state of being. So we've got uh, Mercury opposition Chiron, where a wounded healing uh, would come by by you uh, taking the risk in those emotional states and appearing cool and um, noticing how you attract those people in your own way, in your own will, and using that power to overcome um, those wounded parts uh, by your own will and your strong nature according to astrology and the signs in the sky. So overall with Mercury and Leo, I mean Moon and Leo, it's being secured in your own self and having that time to really love yourself and love your others. And that's about it, guys. Thank you all for joining me. I'm doing readings. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate all the support coming from all the YouTube community. Thank you all. I feel so great and confident that uh, everyone brings so much harmony within me. Uh, I, I understand everyone. It's an amazing feeling. So thank you all for, for commenting and subscribing. Thank you.